Hello Flip It fans, this is Jacob again, and today we're going to be assembling the Black X uh, Uber Panzer Heavy Tank. And uh, as before, we're going to need our same items. We're going to need the scissors, an X-Acto blade for small cuts, a toothpick to spread the glue, and of course our glue of choice. Now I've picked this tank because I've already assembled the Green Star tank. A little bit difficult, and I don't want to, you know, jump right into that. Plus, this one was requested on the forms, so I am going to start with that. So, on top of our items to prep for working, we're also going to need our sheet. Now, same drill, we're going to cut it out, and then I'll be back in a minute to show you how the assembly goes. I just noticed something while I was cutting this out um, that you all might have a question with, and that's cutting out these blank circle areas here. Now, circles can be a little bit difficult to cut out uh, if they're in the middle of something because you, obviously there's no entry point in order to cut and scissors won't work. This is another reason why X-Acto blades are really helpful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a section here. We're gonna cut it right down the middle like that. I don't know if you guys can see it from that distance. But yeah, just basically create a cut there and we're gonna cut it like a pizza. We're going to come back again, same way. We're going to do this two more times so we have a total of eight cuts or eight slices in this instance. It's okay if you go a little bit over the black, that's forgivable. And we're going to come back one more time. And there. So now what we're left with is something that looks sort of like a iris or the thing on top of soda, uh, soda cans, or not cans, but the... Uh, the things you get that make McDonald's or something like that. So, so you can get your st uh, throw, st bleh, straw through it. What we're going to do now is we're going to come back, and it's a lot easier now to just cut the black part off so that you cut out the slices individually. And what it'll do when it's done is you'll have your perfect hole. And this is a really good technique for people that um, don't feel like they're adequate enough to to uh, you know make it look neat and, and I know this doesn't uh, exactly the way I'm doing it right here just because the camera's in my way can't get very close to the object so it's ripping a little bit but it's much better than anything I would have tried to do with the scissors so anyway I'll continue cutting and I'll be back in a little bit all right I'm back I've cut out every single piece of the of the kit and we're going to start with this one just because this was a pain in the butt it has three sections here that had to be cut out and they have to be cut out first because the model isn't strong enough to hold the blade uh, and keep it from ripping after it's assembled so what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to take our time and very carefully assemble this piece because out of all the pieces to me this looks like it's the it's the one that's really, really delicate. As you can see here, these two joins are really small and skinny, and they would probably break at slightest tearing there. So we're going to do this a side at a time by gently, very gently, especially with this one, scoring along the edges so that everything folds nice. We're going to do this to the whole piece first. And we're going to do something that is reversed scoring, as I call it, because you have to do it on the back piece of the paper. That way the paper bends in the proper direction. Um, since this has a back cut on it, which I'll show you in a minute, it'll make more sense in a second here. I'm just going to spray that there. There. And then here, we'll I'll show you here now. I'm going to score this. This will fold backwards down, but then the next one has to fold inwards, so it's also going to be the same. But then this one right here has to fold back on itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to try and figure out where the cut is. You can kind of see where it is based on uh, holding it up to the light. You can see where that is. If you have a light box, this would be perfect. If not, just kind of cut it, eyeball it as best you can. Try and line up the two divots there. 
There you go. That will bend it back on itself, which is perfect. And we can come back here and go back on the right side. So basically what that means is this one, instead of bending forward like the rest of them go like that, this one has to bend backwards, which gives us a nice bend like that. All right. And we're going to do this one at a time. So we're going to bend this gently and the tabs over. Like this. And that. This one doesn't want to bend very easily. It's so, so thin there. There we go. Now we're going to start with this piece right here because it's the most finicky and I don't want it to break very easily. Put a little bit of glue. That was a little too much. But we can spread it around and use it all. So there we go. Right there. I'm going to also put some on this piece right here. Just so that we get a good join. We can even put some on the back of where we're going to be sticking these if we really wanted to. To help with that. But I think we'll be fine. And we're going to just bend this around the front. Still holding, that's good. There. Nope. Probably. This is uh, difficult to show exactly how to hold it in these positions to get them to stay because my hands are so big it's hard to get it on camera. But more or less, that's what you're going to want. You're going to want to do this one side at a time very carefully, taking your time, patience. You know, if it helps, put on some relaxing music. Maybe it'll help you a little bit. But we're going to do this one at a time, and that way we can just fold in like a cardboard box that you're building the other side. So we're going to put some glue on here. Put some on the front and on the side there, and that's a lot of glue, so we're going to spread it around with our toothpick. Just so, oh, that's exactly what you don't want to do right there. So we don't want to get it on the... All right, now you can put some on the inside of here too if you got too much. Just helps with like a holding it in place a little bit there. Uh, too much on my toothpick. You can kind of see a, not so much, but right around here it discolored a tiny bit because white glue is uh, half water. It's um. It's very, very watered down um, paste. I can't remember exactly what it's um, used to make it, but I know it's very wet, so it does not mix well with paper and ink. So you just got to keep that in mind while you're using using it for this kind of a project. I'm going to just gently fold that over. Make sure it lines up right. Don't in a rush. Wipe off some excess glue if there's any on the sides there. Just like that. And there we go. We're going to do like that. I'm just going to fold over the other side here. And I'll be back as soon as it's done. All right, so this is giving me a little bit of an issue here, so I thought I'd show it on camera. I haven't applied glue yet, but I was dry fitting this into place just to make sure it fit right. I noticed that it didn't want to stay in there very well, so you're going to have to be patient with it. It's got to be smarter than the paper. And we're going to put a little bit of glue right in this little pocket right here. And we're going to use the toothpick again to spread it around the edges of it. Oh, see, it popped out there. I don't want that. It wants to stay in. And this is another good reason to cut the holes of prior to assembling this piece. Because now I have these access points to get on the inside and press the tabs into place with the toothpick. So so I get a you know a good seal there. So you can do that all the way into the back. And presto. Got the turret done. Now, so 
something that you all might notice, and it's in the actual rule book too as a tip. I'll just reiterate it here. If you look closely at these models, uh, if it'll focus, 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 focus. Come on, you know you can do it. Anyway, oh, oh, there we go. All right, you can kind of see there's white lines here where the paper joins up. Now, the easiest way to take care of this is after it's dried, not before, after, you take a black Sharpie or some other dark color or something. I like using black because all the lines on here are black anyway. You just take it and you run it along the edge, and what it'll do is it'll mask that white and just make it like look like it's, a, it's all one model. And this is perfect for... Like up here, I cut a little too close and got rid of a lot of the black. You could also do it around that on the inside there just to make it look like it's still rid, uh, ridged the proper way. So anyway, with that, I'm going to start assembling our treads here. And these are fairly straightforward, you know, it's the same process as before. We're going to run our blade across like that just to, to you know, to get it a... Um, something easier way to bend it and anyway I'll, I'll do that to this and be back after it's glued together all right so i've pretty much got this glued all together except for one thing these these end tabs now there's no tabs for the bottom part so i just kind of push them in there gently you know it kind of helps it full you know keep its position and stuff and these are really simple you shouldn't have any trouble whatsoever with these treads these are perfect this is just like the best you know tank treads I think I've ever assembled using paper craft methods. Anyway, and then this, you know, this basically you take your thing, rub it a little bit on there to give it its nice curve. Love that about paper, how it's so easily moldable to what you want. And you just put some glue on the other side there. Spread it around. Flip it over here. Put the excess on the other side. Just going to bend it around like so. And there you go. That's pretty much how you assemble the tank treads. The rest of these pieces are fairly straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble all of these off camera. Um, if you remember from previous um, examples, the smaller ones, you can use the toothpick to help roll them up and get the, uh, the nice rounded. That way it's easier to glue. See? It's holding its shape pretty well, actually. So you remember, this is actually, you know what? I'm going to assemble all of these, glue them all together and stuff, and then once that's done, I'll show you how to wrap it all together and glue that, the actual pieces together to the tank. Um, all right, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so we have everything assembled except this one piece here. Now, this eluded me for a while. I almost had to contact um, uh, Jim, uh, uh, the guy who made the game, to figure out exactly what to do. But then I realized that it doesn't have the vents on the back on the new sheet. So I deduced these are, in fact, the vents. So what we need to do is we need to bend those into round shapes. And then come back, give these a nice little edging. And should be able to. Ah. Perfect. All right. And uh, what this will do is this will give us a means to glue it to the back here. And we'll glue like that. This is going to be a little bit tricky, so I'll do it on camera, even though my my uh, hands will be in the way. 
going to apply glue to these tabs right here and there. Spread that glue around. I'm also going to put a glue on this edge here just to help it stay. I'm going to do this one at a time very carefully. Because I know, let's see, it's giving me a very hard time already. Come on, Betsy. Alright, so. There, got the middle part. Looks like the easiest way to do this is to glue the middle part on first and then come back around with the sides. Yeah, that's the easiest way. Unless you find a better way. This is how I'm going to do it. So what it ends up with is kind of like a three-dimensional vent for the tank on the back there. And we're just going to apply a little bit more glue right there and spread that around the edging just so we get a nice joint. There you go. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to move straight on to assembling all the pieces together. Now, you see this gray, light gray strip here and there? This is going to help us line up the bottom half of the tank. Basically, we're going to want to glue the side panels like on this little piece exactly like that. So. We're going to apply our glue. <coughs> this is going to be a little bit more generous, excuse me, by the way, because this is two parts that we will not be able to press very easily. So we're going to spread this around, but still leave it quite, you know, liberal amount, because this is going to hold the whole tank together after all. So we're going to just do it like that. Come in here. Just push that on like that. We want to leave it flush on top, so make sure you do not have it raised. You know, we want this part and this part to be, you know, touching perfectly. All right. Well, we're going to take it and do the same thing to the other side, except this time we're going to be a little bit different. We're going to actually put the glue on this piece. You see, there's a little bit of glue seeping through here. We're just going to take our toothpick and clean that out. Spread this glue around. There we go. We take this side. Take some glue, apply it liberally to the bottom of this here, and we're going to spread this around, but like more liberally than before. Just want to make sure we get good, solid coverage on this. Anywhere where there is paper, there should be a good layer of glue. This one is now. This will take a little bit longer to dry, just because of the amount of glue but it will be worth it because the structure on this is it's a very tight, strong tank. I like that about it. I just put that like that right there. And 
press up from the bottom. Trying to keep this as straight and even as possible. Even press down on a hard surface like my cutting mat here, as well as press down with that in there just to make sure we're getting good contact with the bottom part. And then maybe crimp here at the edge just to get that extra bit of cohesion and holding in between them. Perfect. All right, next part, we're going to take our turret here and we're going to apply some glue to the front mount liberally. Stick our turret in like that, making sure that the two dots for the air releases are out, sticking fine. And how you want it pointed up or down is basically up to you. I want mine kind of like a slight rise there. Perfect. All right, now the last thing is this buddy right here. What I'm going to do is just put it in there. This part is so that the turret will rotate. And we're just going to dab a tiny bit of glue in the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. You can see a little bit down there. And we're just going to swish it around the edge. Just so we want to get like a, a join to the bottom there. And that'll hold it fine. Now, the very last thing we do to just slide. We're not going to glue this part. just want to get this. It's going to be finicky. If you didn't cut the, the holes right, perfect. This could, uh, this could rip. I don't want that. Aha, there we go. So, get the turret on nice like there opening there. We don't want to glue this because we want it to be able to rotate. So there you go. That's it. That's the whole tank assembled. And then the person is uh, works equally the same way. And uh, yeah, you just build him like you do regular infantry and put him in the top. And there you go. You got yourself the Uber Panzer. So this is one of the easier ones to finish uh, of the tanks or the vehicles rather. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know what we'll do next. Probably some more Black X um, vehicles because that's that's what I'm working on right now is building my Black X army. So go off of that, and uh, there you go. Till next time.